Today, new data from the 2020 census will be released, giving an updated portrait of a country that has grown more diverse than ever. For the first time, all population growth has been driven by minorities. William Fry, senior fellow at the Brookings Institute, joins us now to make sense of this all. Good morning, William. Thank you so much for being here. So though the official data will actually be released later, we do have some insight into what this is going to show, as I just mentioned. So tell us, what are the headlines here? Sure. I mean, I think people are going to be surprised about how much more diverse the United States is going to be. Uh, there's a very good possibility that we're going to have a small decline in our white population. In other words, you fill out the census, you decide what you're going to identify yourself as, what race you're going to be. And uh, this would be the first census that that happened. That, that would mean all the growth uh, in this country over the last 10 years would be coming from people of color. Probably Latinos will account for about half of that growth. Asian Americans to maybe a quarter of that growth. And probably for the first time, we're going to have more than 40% of the U.S. population uh, will be people of color. So, you know, that'll spread out differently in different states and in different parts of the country. But it, but it really, we're becoming more diverse everywhere. And what this census will show is all the data from all the states and all the cities and all the counties. Uh, you'll be able to look that up and see how you, how you fare and how your community fares over the last 10 years. And so, William, as you just mentioned, that we are expecting to see this decline in the number of white Americans. And that's actually the first time ever, and it's ahead of projections. Expand on that a little bit for us. Yes. I mean, I, you know, first of all, we need to think that the, the white population, and these are people who say they're white and don't identify with any other race or ethnic group. They're not mixed race people, but just, just to say they're white, which is it was still the largest part of the U.S. population. But it's older than the rest of the population, which means uh, it has a higher level of mortality. More people die. Fewer people are born because there are proportionally fewer women in their childbearing ages in this older population. And so over time, really for this last decade, the white population had more deaths than births. Now, there is immigration of whites. Uh, there are There is white immigration. But even that has come down a little bit over the last decade with immigration restrictions. And in the aftermath of the Great Recession in the first part of this decade, uh, the economy didn't attract as many more immigrants. So uh, even though we're going to continue to have a very slow growth decline in our white population, it was, uh, you know, accentuated for these reasons. And I know you've spoken in the past about a cultural generation gap. Is that what you're talking about here, where older generations are whiter than younger ones? Yeah, I mean, one of the things we might find from these census results is that the people under age 18 in the U.S. may be minority white. That means whites may be half of the population, only less than half of the population under age 18, the young population, people of color. And so, you know, the cultural generation gap is we've seen it in politics. A lot of older people, people my age, <laughs> and it's a largely white generation, somehow have a little trouble grasping this change demographically. And it's got, it's got caught up in politics and attitudes about immigration and so forth. So uh, uh, the, the younger population, of course, is much more open to diversity. So that's the cultural generation gap in attitudes that we're seeing in this country. William, very interesting and so much that we will find out later today as this comes out. Thank you for joining us for a preview. Happy to do it.